Hey everyone, so um, now that we have a couple new versions of Overtone out and some of the more pressing issues with it have been fixed, um, I figured it'd be a good time to do uh, a small getting started video. So I'm going to show you from scratch uh, how you can get started with making music through interactive coding with Overtone. Now. Um, the README has some instructions um, and basically you need uh, Super Collider, you need Clojure and for Clojure you need Java. So um, Java you can check if you have that with Java dash version. Um, I have version 17 which is a fairly recent version uh, most versions should work fine. Definitely anything higher than 11, I'm fairly sure should work fine. Um, if you don't have Java yet, check your uh, package manager of your operating system. Uh, so for instance, on I'm on Ubuntu, there's like packages for OpenJDK. Um, or, you know, Homebrew should be an option on Mac. Uh, things like Scoop or Chocolatey on Windows should all uh, have Java. Uh, I use SDK Man for, uh, for my Java. Um, yeah, plenty of options. Um, and as a last resort, Adoptium.net has installers for most operating systems. Um, Clojure, you can find installation instructions on the Clojure website. Uh, for Mac, again, they recommend Brew. Uh, for Linux, they also have Brew, but I don't think a lot of Linux people have Brew. I definitely don't use it. Um, but there's also this uh, shell script you can curl, which will install everything you need. Um, and if that went well, you should find the closure command on your path. And that starts a REPL. Um, so if that works, you're good. Uh, now, closure, the command closure does not have uh, history and, and line editing. So if I press up here, I get this weird stuff. Um, if you use CLJ, then that does work. Um, see, I have history here. Um, but for CLJ to work, you need something called RL rep. So um, it's not really necessary for anything I'm going to show later on, but just a little thing to be aware of. Um, so again, just something you should be able to get through your operating system. Okay, then we get to Super Collider. Um, Super Collider, you know, is timeless software, has been around since the 90s. Uh, super powerful sound synthesis engine, basically. Um, and this is what Overtone uses under the hood. Uh, in the past, this was kind of hidden from you. Um, we basically used an embedded internal super collider most of the time, and so you didn't even really have to think about what super collider was. Um, but that turned out to be a huge hassle. It actually caused many more issues than it solved. Um, big maintenance nightmare. Uh, we were always many versions behind. It, it could cause JVM crashes and so forth. So we've just gotten rid of that. Um, you know, because Super Collider is packaged for virtually every, you know, operating system, definitely for all the common desktop operating systems. Uh, so, uh, there's a Super Collider package. Really, you just need the Super Collider server, but just install Super Collider and you should be fine. And if your package manager has a package called Super Collider 3 SE3 plugins, then install that one as well. Um, not strictly necessary, but if you don't have this, then some of the, the UGEN, some of the building blocks uh, that you use inside Overtone are not going to work. Okay, so now we basically have everything. So we have Clojure. Yeah, you can check if you have Super Collider with SCSynth-V. SCSynth is the command that Overtone will be looking for. So if that's present on your path, um, then you should be good. So now um, I'll just 
Actually, let's start with these two. So um, I made a new directory here, happy vibes, in there created a depths.eden, uh, which is Closure's version of you know a package JSON or or anything like that basically specifies your dependencies, and I put overtone in here with the latest version. Um, these instructions are kept up to date through the release tooling, so if you copy this, it will always have the latest version. Uh, you can also find it. Oh, we don't have uh, the badges here yet. Okay, that's something to add, but you can also find it on Clojars. Of course, I'm using Clojure CLI Depths Eden. That's kind of the the, the modern way to do things. Uh, historically, people used Liningen, and Liningen still works fine. If you know how to use Liningen uh, and you want to use that, then just use that. Um, Clojure CLI is just a little more minimal, a little more uh, modular. So let's start a REPL. And uh, use overtone life. You don't see use being used a lot anymore in modern closure code. Um, it's basically the equivalent of require with refer all. So instead of use, I could have read written require uh, overtone life refer all. Basically meaning that all functions, all vars within overtone life are now made available in my current namespace, which is user. Um, and refer all is kind of discouraged generally, but for a DSL like Overtone, um, you know, where you're really just working basically like not just in plain closure, but in the Overtone language, um, it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with it um, in itself. So, um, and uh, a bunch of stuff happened here, so there, there's a bunch of output here. Um, yeah, I actually have a configuration file which uh, makes this extra noisy. It's not usually quite as noisy. Um, but so it says loading overtone, starting the external super collider. It tells you exactly how it's starting the external super collider. So if something goes wrong at this stage, you should be able to copy paste this into a terminal and see you know if that works by itself because if that doesn't work then it's basically not overtones problem you need to see what's wrong with super collider or maybe it is overtones problem that this command is like not being generated correctly and then you can file an issue um, we also do some checks a lot of stuff has happened on linux you used to need jack to be able to use super collider now it's also fine to have pipewire which is kind of the more modern thing so on a newer system like Ubuntu 2304 um, or 2310, which I'm on, uh, th it'll have a, a modern or like a fairly new pipe wire and this should work just fine. Um, I can also show you that uh, here, Overtone, this is actually Super Collider and I think in future versions we may stop calling this Overtone and just calling it Super Collider because that's actually what that is. But so this has now been connected to your sound output. This is something that, especially on Linux, would often fail on previous versions, sometimes silently, sometimes spectacularly. So this has been fixed. It's all been automatically hooked up. So you don't need necessarily a patch bay thing like this to set your connections. But it's nice that you can see that they're there. OK, enough blah blah for me. Um, let's uh, see if this actually makes some sound. And I hope you um, guys heard that, that it's correctly showing up. Uh, probably if you're listening to us on headphones, you'll notice that it only came through on one side. And so, yeah, that just generated a saw wave for, I think it's a second. Um, no, it's two seconds, I guess. You can make that longer. Um, that's overtone in action. Now, um, there's one more thing I will show. Uh, so let me shut this down uh, gracefully, which does take a moment. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to open this depths Eden file in my editor. 
and in the same directory I'm going to create a file happyvibes.clj or you can put it under source or under REPL sessions um, whatever you prefer doesn't really matter for our use case um, so now I have a file here a namespace although it's not really a namespace it's not something you would just like require and load from somewhere else it's basically how we are going to interact with overtone so I can put here too use overtone life or require overtone life refer all and I'm going to uh, cider jack in um, now Clojure is a language that uh, is very big on this interactive programming meaning that directly from your editor you connect to a closure process uh, and you send it code to run uh, sort of form by form and that's how you interact and that's what it makes it so great for doing something like uh, overtone which is an interactive way of making sound and music so here's my REPL again I've started overtone and I can do the same thing or I can have the frequency be control with the mouse uh, I guess that's not working here Never mind, I can change the frequency with another oscill oscillator. This is yeah, that's something. Um, I'm using Emacs and Cider. Um, the other popular options uh, to get this kind of interactive closure environment are uh, Vim and there are a bunch of different options the the old school one is called fireplace uh, the newer one is is it conjure I think it's called conjure there's also something called Vim iced um, then uh, for IntelliJ if you prefer more sort of like a full IDE there's cursive so these are all like editor and the uh, closure integration and then uh, finally to round off sort of the the top four of popular closure editors there's VS code and Calva so if you already use or are familiar with any of these then just use that one don't learn Emacs or Vim or IntelliJ just to use uh, closure and overtone there are other options there are also if you're if you're using something else look if it has an integration there is for instance an integration for atom and so forth um, yeah uh, I'm not gonna go too much into overtone itself I'm gonna leave that for future videos um, I will maybe give you one more tip if you uh, check out the overtone source code then you will find that there is a examples directory um, with a bunch of examples um, and so these are uh, yeah you do need to make sure you then get a, a REPL here let me connect this to my existing REPL uh, and you can basically do the same thing just kind of go form to form try them out And so together these basically really give you sort of a, a nice tutorial of all the different things you can do with Overtone. So, you know, some of these are quite advanced. Some of them may not work exactly as you would expect and so forth, but just, just try out different ones. Um, there's some cool synths and, and, and instruments in here. Um, let's see what Peep7 does. Okay, that's something. Yeah, so that's how you get started with Overtone. Um, if you have any questions, uh, there is uh, Clojurian Slack 
uh, I think if you go to clojurians.net it'll redirect you there or show you a sign up thing um, so there's a there's a hashtag overtone channel there where you can find folks um, or just uh, at me on the Fediverse I'm plexus at toot.cat um, and uh, that's it have fun with overtone